Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Mui say. My name is MJ Omoto and I welcome you to the African Album Review Podcast. Wherever you are, my people, my people, how you doing? Me, I'm doing okay, day by day, week by week. That's how we do it, right? Um, And yeah, just hanging in there, honestly. If it's your first time joining us on the podcast today, thank you so much for joining us and um, hopefully you have a good time. Nah, you will have a good time. Uh, <laughs> And for everybody else who's been with me for however long, thank you for uh, coming back again. I appreciate it. If you do like what happens on here, head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash MJ Omoto and um, buy me a coffee or two or three or four or five or ten, whatever. Anyway, we're taking it to Zambia today. So let's do it. The latest African album review is... Good Vibes Only by Baba Tunde was released on August 27th, 2021. There are seven songs and that's 25 minutes of runtime, two features which are Louise and Trina South and Focus Beats did the thing on production. The first song on Good Vibes Only by Baba Tunde is My Story. Uh, which was a, st- a storytelling masterclass. And Babatunde details his musical journey from uh, burning songs onto Prinko CDs and not being comfortable with live shows, etc. And he does the same on uh, Chapter 29, which is another song, um, which is kind of like uh, that ode to being a 29 year old and he's doing some introspection at um what happened you know in his 20s looking at that transition he's about to make from the 20s to the 30s on these songs i find him to be so comfortable and his flow is supernatural and he tells us what he needs to tell us without laboring per se he has some excellent advice though so listen to the music intently to get some major life keys the pen game is solid and the themes and topics um, that you find on Good Vibes only, uh, their variety and that's dope for a seven track project because you probably think it might be talking about the same thing because, you know, there's themed projects like that. However, um, Babatunde talks about his personal experiences like I mentioned and they're great to listen to. He talks about uh, living the good life with the girl of his dreams, leaning on Christianity for strength when life gets tough, encountering beautiful women and envying someone else's girl, <laughs> etc. Mm, interesting things you're talking about there. Um, what makes Babatun to stand out is that he's really a rapper at the core. What comes through um, is actually some vibey beats that are Afrofusion uh, leaning to Afro beats and um, primarily with some dance rhymes. Then his flow on top of that. And that means he occupies a unique pocket where he can go in, go in with the flow and punchlines as well, but makes it nice with a cadence to match the beat. On a song such as Elemental featuring Louise, you actually get, you know, that uh, sort of dance or vibe. And it reminded me somehow of um, Gengaton from Kenya, uh, even though he doesn't rap too much on it. But, you know, yeah, you get it. I'd say the only thing I would change on the project is maybe do a little more processing on the vocals for uh, two or three songs so that they really sit in the mix and don't feel like uh, they are actually vocals but more an instrument just part of the whole composition i think babatunde can achieve that easily because some songs already have that so yeah just some feedback overall the title good vibes only is quite fitting babatunde made an effort to stick to giving us what he promised in the title and he did you listen to the songs and you know this is a project that is easy to repeat it is short enough not to get monotonous while groovy enough enough to keep you hooked and i was highly impressed honestly there's like some bangers on here serious bangers i would pick need your love with trina south as the best song trina south snapped on this one yo um 
and then Elemental with Louise. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And uh, Little Lela. Otherwise, all of them have uh, something I like about them. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. This was the African Album Review Podcast. Peace. Day and day. Moto Moto Music, the best place to listen to podcasts about African music online.